How much should you charge tenants for rent? Some investors tell you to charge anywhere from 1% to 2% of the value of the property. But that's not always such a great idea because home values have risen faster than rent. See, if a home is valued at $400,000, does that mean you have to charge $4,000 to $8,000 a month? That sounds a bit too high, even in great neighborhoods. The answer, it depends. Ideally, you want to charge as much as possible because you do want to make money from this venture. But first, aim to get the rent to as close as your monthly mortgage as possible. If your monthly is $1,800 a month, excluding tax and fees, try to charge at least $1,800 in rent. You want your rent to at least pay your fixed cost of owning the property. Here's how to get to that number. Go to a rental website or talk to a rental agent in your area. Find a reasonable amount other landlords are charging their tenants. You can also check comparables on real estate websites to see how much other property owners are paying per month. This becomes your base. This should be the lowest amount you should charge for rent. Next, set your price point to attract tenants. If you advertise too low for rent, you'll get a lot of offers, but you'll also get lower quality tenants. List the price too high and you'll scare off anyone because why would they rent with you when a home next door is renting for $500 less? Aim for an amount equal to your monthly mortgage cost. Rent prices go up all the time and if you can lock in a tenant, you can always raise rent in the future. Price your rental $50 to $100 below your break-even price, the mortgage. This will open up enough tenants but quality tenants who are willing to rent from you. If you pay $1,700 per month in mortgage, charge $1,600 to $1,650 per month in rent. Put down a multiple year agreement such as two or three years with a clause saying you'll raise the rent by $50 every year. A multi-year rental agreement will lock your tenant to place at a first year discount but enable you to raise rent in the future. By year two, you'll break even on your rental and year three, make some money. When you draw up your next rental agreement, you'll start at that new higher rental price, $1,700 or $1,750. Repeat the process every new rental term and you'll gradually increase your rental cash flow. How much you should charge for rent is a long-term game. Charging too much or too little in the beginning can make it difficult for you to make money long term. So what are your thoughts? How much do you charge for your rental? Comment below. And as always, take care of your money.